Hey dudes. Hey dude. Hey dudes. <laughs> Unreal moment, surreal moment. What's going on guys, welcome back to season three, West Palm Beach, uh, this is like day three. I'm actually tying a stingray rig right now, just so we go to the spot, we're ready. Uh, we gotta shoot to the 7-Eleven quick, I'm gonna grab an energy drink, and I'd like to buy some new Hey Dude sandals today too, because those smell like absolute mongrel. We are basically ready to go, I'm feeling good. The uh, bandage is still on, this comes off tomorrow, and then after that it's gonna be scot-free, I can get it wet. Um, it actually doesn't hurt at all, the cut that I had on my finger in season two is definitely a lot worse. So I'm going in today feeling pretty good. If you guys go watch or if you guys go back and watch the previous episodes, this will make a lot more sense of what we were doing down here. This entire series is sponsored by Foundation Outdoors, St. Croix Rods, and Beyond Braid. I don't know, moves high. The boys are here. Let's get a quick word. All right, guys, like Tommy said, I'm also feeling great. Um, trip's starting with a boom. We got that lemon shark yesterday, got the bull shark. We're gonna go today now and see if we can get an eagle ray. I wanna seek some redemption for last year's monster, if you guys remember. But yeah, all in all, trip's going fantastic. Everything's going awesome. All right, guys, just like Justin and Tommy just said, we're starting this trip off to a bang here. Tommy caught his first bull shark of the trip. Justin and I, we fought a lemon shark. I was super blessed and honored to be able to help Justin with that. But right now, first stop is to go get some 7-Eleven energy drinks and then some donuts, some snacks maybe. Sandals, second stop is gonna be some big fish. Third stop is success. Super pumped for this day. We got a lot in store for us and we're gonna have a great time doing it. All right, well, we are arrived at the inlet. We're trying to get to the mouth of it, and we're gonna try and call some people to see if we can park in their driveway or whatnot, but that lady just walked up to us. She looks like she already knew the plan when she's not even in the car. Hmm. Uh, she told us we're gonna get towed. <laughs> Excuse me. <laughs> How can we park in here? Unless you have a sticker, you can't. All right, guys, we're at Dick's. No shoes. I need sandals, uh, we tossed them. My sandals have been through hell. Two Monaco trips, um, two Florida trips, being this one, being the second. And I just left them at home. Hope I don't step on glass, but this is the first stop of the day. And then we're actually gonna be heading to the boat ramp to hopefully catch some stingrays. We don't have these back. Right? Step on a crack, break your mom's back. Yeah, I got them stolen. Someone stole the sandals. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I could deal with these, but I need a bigger size. Comfort touch. Hold on. They don't even smell, dude. Imagine that one. Right, let's get the fuck out of here. Where's a eagle ray? There's an eagle ray. All right, guys. Came in here barefoot. Leaving with a nice pair. Had to get the Nikes. Dick's had honestly nothing. And the one pair that I did like were $120 and I'm not paying that for sandals to get stepped on by stingrays, sharks, fly troopers. So these will do. All right guys, we are back at the boat launch spot and as we were getting ready to gear up, a huge hammerhead rolled in, guys. This is one of the craziest trips because we're seeing species that we've never seen in this boat ramp. The Goliath grouper, and now the hammerhead, and it was a giant hammerhead, probably. It, what would you say it even was, Justin? Like 13, 14, 15 feet? Giant, so we'll see what happens here. In the calm nights like this, this is where we do our best, so who knows what's really gonna happen other than that. 
I'm feeling good. I'm ready to go. Chill. Oh my god. Oh my god, do you have him? Let him choke. Let him choke. My Are god. you filming? Yep. Justin Gloves, get ready. What if I have? Nail him. Holy. Oh my god. My god. There's nothing behind me I can trip on, right? Alright, Phil, thank you. If you ever run, run past my life, you will get in. It was massive. It was massive. I'm afraid you have the hammer, friend. <sighs> what drag are you at? How many drag are you? Uh, I think he only has 200. 400? I think he has 200. I have 400 right now. He has 400 right now. I would run to that tip over there. Yeah, you could lose. I would, I would like slack off and go to that tip over there. Yeah, he's going back right. Yeah, if he doesn't go that way. Yeah, yeah. Is he going left? Draw too much. Too much yeah, go ahead. No, you're fine. He's not going to Hey, run. That engine. Go, Tony. Go. Go, 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 go. I think it's off. That was absolutely insane, guys. That had to be a 13, 15 foot hammerhead. And it me. Guys, that is the biggest fish I've ever hooked in my life. The most power I've ever felt in my life. Like, I'm speechless right now. I've never caught a lot of cool fish. I've never been left speechless like that in my life. The pure power when I cranked full drag and push it to max. Like I actually, I was like worrying I was gonna get pulled in. When I ran over here, I still had it on. Everything was good. But I think the tail might have hit the actual mono. Yeah. Which it did because nothing's left. I had a swivel here to like a seven foot, 400 pound mono leader to another swivel to probably about a four or five foot wire leader. And a super strong wire too, brand new. Um, I'm still shaking, but unreal moment, surreal moment for me. Never hooked a hammerhead, so it's a first, I'll take it. I feel like you gotta go through the trenches to succeed and honestly hooking a hammer and hooking it, or hooking the hammer and catching it for the first time ever, really not possible. So grateful to hook it, grateful to battle it. What a beast it is. Let's go. Oh my God. <laughs> you just go through the cones. I was gonna move the cones, I got out and toss the cone. <laughs> like they're so mad, dude. They're so mad. Think about them calling it. Out. Yeah, we got the license plate, blah, 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 from Maryland. What did you do, sir? I didn't post. Ah. <laughs> please, please don't do ah, that, people. <laughs> Holy damn. <laughs> you walking that dog or is that dog walking you? Where am I even going right now? I think it's Ooh. good that we're getting the f out of West oh. Palm, dude. Where's the finish line? Ah. Uh. <laughs> Come on, ladies, you got it. <laughs> Guys, I'm feeling good today. I'm in a good mood. The arm, um, it's healing good. This is about to actually come off later on today, so I'll probably rewrap it just to be safe, but at least I know I can go in the water now with the sharks and not freak out about getting infected and whatnot. <laughs> guys we're back at the grouper spot i'm gonna give it my second go um i got that one opportunity like i said we did kind of land it in that video but unfortunately i didn't get to get in the water with it which i was going to um we're gonna try another opportunity so 
Here we go. All right, guys, Tommy. So Captain Phil here with Real EC Charters is generous enough to give us this awesome carcass, which Tommy's about to drop down here for these giant Goliath Coopers. I was so thankful enough to be able to hand feed these magnificent beasts. The one I hand fed was around 500 pounds, but man, it was it was a thrill in itself. Hey, Case, look right below you. but I am super stoked to see Tommy fight this monster beast. We're in for a good treat here, boys. We've been at this spot before. We've seen countless smaller fish that they've been here before and they've hooked into giant groupers as well. This is my first time here, successful being able to see these creatures and I am just, I'm shaking. This is like a dream come true. I'm so pumped, but let's get at it. Let's get some cool B-roll in here before the boys get out here and we'll be catching a big fish here. Game time, baby. One more chance. This is my second chance, guys. This is probably all I'm gonna get most likely this trip i gotta make it last or i gotta make it count i just know brad's thinking exactly what i'm thinking right now oh god it's a huge one sitting here. here we go i really don't want to hook that with the biggest one dude well or that's too bad go <laughs> big go big or go home brother Oh, you know, you have to do it for your channel first. Obviously, I can't do that for you guys. Oh, really? No. What channel? I don't even know. So He's Holding the rod is going to be the least yeah. of your worries. Dude, here he comes. He's coming in, coming in. Oh, no. Oh, oh. Break it, break it. There's been some mistakes made. Break it. Hurry up. I can't, I can't. You got another shot at least. The smaller one, Michael. Oh no, yeah, they're just gonna go up it. He's right there. Enough of the smaller one's right there on it. Justin, hold the rod up. He's standing, he's standing. Let him eat it. Let him eat it. He's right there. He's got it. He's already he's turning on it right now. Now you got him. Oh, he's going to the piling. Uh, Did it. Damn. He's chasing it. Oh, Dude, shit. I don't, know, I don't know if I can go again. It's like five times. Oh. Walk backwards. Did he spit it again? They're just too big, too small of an area. I actually just hooked a Goliath grouper probably nine times in a row. <laughs> and I literally feel like I just ran the fucking marathon with those people this morning in West Palm, so. That's all she wrote.